Hey guys, even here and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. Before we begin, a lot of you asked me to show you my physique. I don't have a lot to show you, I found one Instagram story that I downloaded. It's just a little quick posing so you can see my physique. Yeah, I'm almost 270, not quite 270, like 266, something like that. Uh, but I'm aiming for 270 before the end of this offseason and then I'm going to start cutting and prepping for a pro uh, qualifier. I'm going to try to turn pro in classic physique, we'll see if I'm going to do it. Uh, you guys tell me what you think about my physique. If you want to see more stuff, you can follow me on my Instagram. Not even bodybuilding, I'm almost never posting there, but my private account, even Banyanats, which is my last name, which sounds weird pronouncing it here, and I'm sure none of you could pronounce that last name, but yeah, you can follow me there if you want to see like my workouts and stuff like that. You know, what I eat, what I do, training clips like this one, I downloaded this one to show you. Since I mentioned that I'm doing a lot of coaching in Serbia, a lot of you guys approached me, so if any of you guys are looking for a coach who is very much up to date, who responds immediately, who is very affordable as well, and no, I'm not just a gym bro, I'm actually a competitor, a very successful one over here in Europe. I won the European Championships and I was second at the World Championships. And this was, of course, a lighter category. When I step on the stage next time, I'm gonna be much bigger with the same conditioning and we'll see. Hopefully, I will win that pro card. And again, if you want my help, just DM me. Now, let's continue with the video. Regan Grimes just posted a current physique update. So he says, on a mission to add 20 pounds to my frame, eat, sleep and train. How long has it been since the Mr. Olympia, the last show he did? It's been like six months at least. Did he change much? Does he look bigger than his previous offseason? You cannot tell me that you're seeing some sort of crazy progress here. You cannot tell me that. If he ends up looking bigger on the stage next time he competes, I will eat my words, but from what I'm seeing right here, he looks the same at best. The same at best. Maybe even smaller than last year in the offseason. His conditioning is amazing, his shape is phenomenal, maybe he's not really trying to, you know, gain weight by blowing out his midsection, maybe he's trying to, you know, keep those perfect uh, classic uh, static lines, but what he lacks really is size and that's it. You know, he was pretty decently conditioned at Mr. Olympia. He wasn't exactly diced at Spain and Italy, but he was really conditioned for the Mr. Olympia, he was just lacking size. And this is open bodybuilding, guys. This is not classic physique. I mean, keeping the lines, keeping the midsection small and tight is very important, sure. But if you don't put enough muscle, it doesn't matter how pretty you're looking. This is bodybuilding. You're going against Nick Walker, Heidi Chopin, Derek Cluster, Samson Dowd, Andrew Jack, Brandon Curry, Hunter Labrada. All these guys are mass monsters. And some of them even have blown out midsections, big waists and so on, and they're still winning, they're still placing above, because they are massive, and this is open bodybuilding, so Regan needs more muscle, a lot more muscle, and obviously he's aware of that, he needs to add 20 more pounds, he says, probably more than that, but yeah, he understands that he needs to get bigger, what is he doing about it, I don't see him doing much, honestly, as you can see in this video, I don't see any progress, basically. Maybe he just started his off-season, maybe he was taking it easy so far, and now he's starting to bulk up. But what was he doing so far? I mean, I'm all for balance in life, but if I was 10th in the world, actually 9th, I mean, I would put all of my eggs in that one basket. I mean, I'm not a pro, but since that photo you just saw on, on stage, I added 30 kilos, which is like 66 pounds. And it was hard, it was really hard, you need to give up a lot of stuff in your life, you can't really have a social life. So I get what I'm saying, and Regan, you know, he's kinda like that, he wants to have normal life, he wants to live a little bit. And that's understandable, maybe he doesn't have that mindset to really sacrifice everything, like some of the guys, like Nick Walker, for example, perfect example. Maybe Regan just doesn't have it in himself, and that's, that's the only flaw about Regan Grimes that I can think of, you know. He has a perfect structure, perfect balance, perfect shape, perfect symmetry, everything is there, the ability to put on muscle is also there. He's just not fully committed. And it's such a shame for somebody with so much potential. I mean, it's been like this for I don't know how many years. He probably could have gotten that size like three years ago. He was like 260 at the Mr. Olympia, 270 in Italy and Spain. So in my eyes, he needs to be like 290 on stage in good condition. So that's like 30 pounds of muscle he needs to add. Does he have it in him? Will that ever happen? 
can he really push an offseason seriously like that for a long time and actually add all that muscle? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm starting to lose hope. I was expecting this offseason to be the one because he placed inside of the top 10 of the Mr. Olympia, guys. But no. No. I guess he's taking it easy. He's enjoying life. He's, he's training hard and I'm sure he's doing everything. He's on a diet. But as you can see, the diet is keeping him in almost like uh, stage conditioning. Like he's, I don't know, four weeks out. So, I mean, he needs to get bulky. He needs to eat more. He needs to force it and get massive. And then we can talk about him like being one of the top guys. He can get only so far with his shape and structure and some size. Getting some size, a little bit of size every year. But I think he just reached a point where it's going to be very difficult to move. It's going to be pretty much impossible uh, this year to even stay in the top 9. Because a lot of new guys are coming up, bulking harder, getting bigger. So if Regan wants to keep up or climb up that ladder, he needs to focus. He needs to be more driven. He needs to push things and get massive. And that's the only way I can see him succeed. What do you guys think? A perfect example for somebody who is pushing the offseason, even though the guy already won his division. The perfect example is this guy right here, Kyun Pearson. So as you can see right here, he is, you know, a bit bloated. He's a bit watery, but he is full as a house. I mean, look at those freaking shoulders. The guy is looking massive. He's definitely gaining. He didn't waste any time. Since the Mr. Olympia, based on what I heard from Patrick Tour, I think he took some time off, like a month and a half, like six weeks after the Mr. Olympia, he took it easy, and then he started pushing the offseason. And we can be 100% sure that Keon is going to be better on that Mr. Olympia stage, because look at him right now, he's already looking so much bigger than last year. He is the bodybuilder that makes solid progress every year, and his results are showing that, exactly. He was like top 10 one year, then like top 6, and then he won. So if Reagan wants to make that kind of leap, he needs to do what Keon Pearson is doing. And what is Keon Pearson doing exactly? What's his mindset? Well, let me show you. I've watched you train since you won this title, and I, you seem a lot more hungrier now that you know you're at the top of the mountain, and yeah. everyone's biting at you, right? Yeah. If everybody's chasing me, so it's like I can't, I can't, I can't let down. I'm, 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 I'm a hundred percent locked in, and I still think that you know when you win the first title is great, but um, people still think it's a fluke. Or uh, he won one. That's, well, that's, you know, Sean okay. wants it back, right? You I know, mean, yeah. And I want to keep it, and I'm gonna do every single thing that I can to keep it. Like I get the chills talking about it because. I go so hard every single day on the diet, the food, the rest, the recovery to make sure I'm perfect, you know, do the things that he's not doing and everybody else not doing. When everybody's traveling around the world, I'm home locked in training. I'm not missing one beat at all, you know, so. But that's what you got to do to keep it. That's what you, you do. That, have someone behind that's nipping at you that's been there. That's what you, so. you have to do. I mean, since I won the Olympia, I have a lot of opportunities. I turned down a lot of money, honestly, this year because I want to keep that title. Um, the money's great, and, 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 and no traveling will always be there. But that title, you know, I, I, it's, it's, it's so much bigger. So you just heard it in the most recent Cutler Cast episode. Kian was a guest, and what he's saying basically is that he's refusing offers to travel to do guest posings because he wants to stay locked in. I mean, it's something that a tooth valve Mr. Olympia can afford. Uh, can Derek Lansford do the same thing as a Mr. Olympia in the Open? Probably not. He needs to travel. He needs to promote the sport. It's much more difficult for him. And, you know, he's probably going to have more trouble uh, making progress. But Kian, he is locked in. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about promoting the 212 or getting money for guest posings or traveling, whatever. He just wants to improve as much as possible and win more 212 Mr. Olympia titles. And I think he's going to do exactly that. And that's the mindset I want to see. Yeah, sure, I want to see bodybuilders promote the sport, but when I hear somebody who is this driven, this, this, this motivated, this serious about bodybuilding, you know, I forgive them. <laughs> I forgive Kion for not doing more, but right now, progress is what he needs. Yeah, he won last year, but it was extremely close. I think the main reason was because Sean was not controlling his midsection perfectly, which is basically what Steve Weinberger said. So it was extremely close, and this year, Sean can beat Kian, so he needs to make sure that he is one step ahead still. 
So maybe someday when he's very firmly in that first spot when he made all the progress he needs, once he reaches the weight cap, he can relax a little and do more traveling, but as for right now, the progress is what he requires and that's what he does. He doesn't care about social life, about money or anything, he just wants to be the best bodybuilder he can be and this is the perfect mindset to have as a competitor. And I wish Regan Grimes had it as well. However, there is somebody who is quite a bit like that, like Kian. No, he's not at the top, so he doesn't need to do any kind of traveling or anything like that. He's an underdog right now, but damn, does he look impressive right now. Quint Beastfoot or Quinton Raya is looking absolutely cartoonish right now. Check out this physique, guys. This is just insane right here. I mean, this guy is doing the New York Pro and then I believe Toronto Pro. But as he says, he's not really thinking too much about the other shows. He wants to win the New York Pro against Nick Walker. Can that happen? Well, maybe. I can see it happening easily, actually, if, if his back is matching his front side. As you can see, I left the comment. We want to see the back. Because I'm going to show you a video. From the front, he looks extremely good. And he's also in a really good condition. And in the caption there, he writes something very interesting. He says, I hate the narrative that we, under quotes, just have thicker skin and can't come in bone dry. Let's put that meat to the bed this year. If you are in proper condition, you just didn't work hard enough. It's simple. It's not a black thing. Personally, I never even thought this because I know the most conditioned guy of all time as far as glutes and hamstrings and lower back. It would be Ronnie Coleman. I don't know if anybody had deeper strations in their glutes than Ronnie. Then there's also Dexter Jackson, who is basically known for his conditioning. His nickname is The Blade. Phil Heath was also super diced. Sean Roden too. Sure, Samson has some issues. Brandon Curry too, I guess. Akeem Williams used to have them, but that was before. Now he's coming in super shredded. So I don't think that's a thing. And Quinton here is gonna prove that it is not, because look at this guy. Look at the glutes right here. A look at the conditioning everywhere, basically. And the shape. <laughs> the crazy proportions. The super small ways. Take a look at his midsection, guys. This is just crazy. I mean, this guy's wrists and, and everything is just super tiny and he's popping out so much. And he's actually six foot two. So on that stage, he's gonna look like a giant next to Nick Walker and other guys. Angel Calderon, you know, the 212 guys. Quint is gonna freaking dwarf them. With this conditioning, and he's gonna probably get more condition until the New York Pro, and with these improvements that he made, he, I think he's definitely a top 3 contender potentially. You know, with uh, Martin Fitzwater and uh, Tony Burton, you know, as far as beating Nick Walker, <laughs> yeah, I know, I mean, that's a tall order, that's probably not gonna happen. And again, we didn't see the back, unfortunately, which was very much a weak point for him back when he was competing uh, two years ago. I'm sure he made improvements, but uh, how much can it be improved? Can it be as good as the front? I doubt that. But front, man, it's looking... And the side as well. It's looking really freaking impressive. This is like uh, Flex Wheeler 2.0. A taller version of uh, Flex Wheeler. Let's just hope the back is up to par somewhat. If it is, then Nick Walker also should be worried a little bit. Oh yeah, and I stumbled upon a couple of training videos of Andrew Jacked, and uh, you know, he's supposed to do Dubai Pro this year, that's the word on the street, he never really announced it, but that's what everybody's saying, but looking at his physique right here when he's training, I mean it's not a physique update, but you can see the skin basically in his legs and his hamstrings and quads, I don't know, it doesn't look like he's dieting, to me, it doesn't. To me, it looks like he's focused on improving and getting bigger, better. He looks pretty soft and also very, very round, very full. So I think at this moment he's probably eating a lot and I don't know if he has plans of doing the Dubai Pro. I'm not even sure because, again, look at the conditioning right here. And yeah, it's not a physique update. And also somebody actually wrote in the comment section, uh, they asked me, why do I make uh, analysis based on the physique updates in the offseason, like the guys can not change? Uh, they, they told me that it's uh, much more accurate to assess the physiques uh, when they are on stage. And I think it's pretty obvious, and I'm sure most of you guys will think that as well, but the comment had some likes, so I'm gonna explain it right here. If I only analyze the physiques uh, when the show happens, I would make like 20 videos uh, a year. And if you guys don't enjoy analysis of the off-season photos, you can just uh, watch those videos when the shows happen, and that's also okay if you don't enjoy this. 
but this is what my channel is about i'm trying to analyze and to predict what these guys are gonna look like on stage this for example is not really a physique update this is just me noticing a body fat percent that looks suspicious for somebody who is competing relatively soon so at this point i doubt andrew jack is even gonna do the dubai pro but we'll see anyways guys if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up for more videos about bodybuilding like this subscribe to the channel thank you so much guys for watching see you soon all the best and bye bye